31 days. 31 days. 31 days. 31 days. Did I say 31 days? Imagine with me, if you will, that your employer calls you into the main office and says, I want you to come to work every day, but I'm not going to pay you. And I'll get around to paying you at some point, but I don't know when that's going to be. Well, according to OPM, there's 800,000 of us in that boat right now. It's a big boat. So today I want to talk to you about day 31 government shutdown budget and what's going to change. And hold on to your seats folks because a lot is about to change. And again, down in the comments, please keep this to personal finance because as a government employee, I can't have that kind of stuff on my channel and I'm going to have to delete it and y'all are wearing me down. Hey, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I both work for the government, me as a direct hire and my husband as a contractor. On this channel, we talk a lot about personal finance. I mean, a lot, a lot, because it is my personal goal to normalize talking about money and personal finances. And you can't do that without talking about your own. So in an effort to succeed with that, I try and be super, super transparent about our personal finances and let you know every single cent we spend and exactly where we spend it, hoping that it will create a dialogue and maybe you'll take that dialogue somewhere else to your house, to your spouse, to your boyfriend or girlfriend or dog whoever, but you'll start talking about money too. So let me catch up to speed. My husband Mauricio and I are both working. We both go to, to work every day and have since the beginning. He is getting paid since he is a contractor and I am not. His contract is funded. We don't know how funded it is, but we do know that when the contract runs out of money, he will not get paid. We don't know when that is. This past weekend, I was supposed to get my second shutdown paycheck, and so that is two paychecks that I am now officially behind. Since we operate on a one month ahead budget, what we earn this month goes to pay next month's bills. Next month's bills are only funded by half because Mauricio's paychecks are here and have gone to fund next month's bills, but mine, nada. So today, rather than going over the February budget, I want to go over the January budget one more time and tell you the phone calls I'm going to be making and the things we're going to be canceling because we're going to be canceling a lot. We're getting all serious up in the Valencia household with our personal finances now. It's getting ugly. So let's go over it. So in our housing category, we do pay $270 for a storage unit and if you are new to my channel and you do not know why we have a storage unit, I'm going to link you to a video down in the description box. Please click it, watch it before you make any comments. I know I'm getting a lot of new people on my channel here. There is a legit reason that we have a storage unit. I'm not just hoarding stuff over in there. So with the storage unit, I'm actually going to call. It's a small private storage unit and I'm going to explain the situation and see what they have to say. I am not willing to risk them hawking all of my stuff or selling my storage unit to save $270 though. So that is probably one of the top things that I will pay because that is one of our priorities is to make sure that when we move out on our own, we have our stuff. But if they're flexible, then I am going to definitely Put a hold on that until the government's up and running again. So the next thing is our cell phones. I'm going to try and call Verizon. I don't expect to be very successful, but I'm going to try. Worst case scenario, they're going to tell me to suck it. The Skype we already nixed and we are trying to only use WhatsApp to talk to family down in Columbia. In the food category, we already cut that way down from $500 to the bare minimum. And we're probably going to go pretty solidly with it. And then Melina has actually still been eating school lunches. So I cut that out before, but I'm really hoping we don't have to pay. She, I think, is getting ready to go through a growth spurt. And she really only eats school lunches when it's not really lunches. It's actually breakfast. She gets so hungry halfway through before care that she goes and gets a breakfast. And then sometimes she'll get an additional item at lunch, maybe popcorn or, or a snack or something 
because she she's got to be growing. That child has grown like three feet in the last year and a half, I swear. But yeah, I think it's a growth spurt. And so, you know, I'm not going to let my child starve. So that may be coming back. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Right now, we've still got about $15 left. So in the gas category, we actually have not spent it yet, but we're getting ready to. The situation is such that Mauricio went back to school, which I'll be touching on in a minute. So on multiple days of the week, we're having to carpool separately because he needs to make up the time that he takes off to go to school during the day. And then we are not taking the easy pass at all zero no toll roads for us right now so in the insurance and tax i really don't want to cut insurance if i don't have to but i'm gonna call usaa because you know they're kind of like a you know they have so many people in the government that use their banking system that they actually do have plans in place and i'm going to see what they have to offer for insurance if we can just postpone it for a couple of months, but I am willing to pay that if I need to. And the CMFG and the the Mauricio's life insurance, I'm not even going to try and and deal with those cuz I don't know those companies and they're national companies. I don't expect them to work with me. So, we'll just pay those. In the health category, we're just continuing on with the health category. We did call Melina's specialist, her number one specialist, and we canceled her appointment for this month. We do have a little bit of, of money in there in case she needs something. But for right now, we have told her that, that we're just going to have to push through and, and wait. In our savings category, we are actually funding all of our sinking funds still because really there's no difference. Either we leave the money in our checking account or we move it over to sinking funds. At least if we move it to sinking funds, there isn't the possibility that I'm gonna get confused and go ahead and put it to debt in a month when this is all worked out. So we're just letting it go over there and it'll be in the other checking account should I actually need to use it during this time. But we're trying not to touch our sinking funds just as a matter of course. In the iTunes category, we'll probably cancel everything except the iCloud because Mauricio's computer and phone are backed up to the cloud. So we probably won't cancel that, but Netflix will cancel, Apple Music will cancel, Circle App will cancel, Hulu will keep because that's only 99 cents and we watch it a lot. So if we've got to keep one, we'll keep Hulu and get rid of Netflix. I will die inside, but I will cancel my Audible if I have to. I can get it back when this is all over. We will cancel Amazon Music, which is up in Melina's room with Alexa, and she uses it when she wants to. Wow, she actually heard me talking and just flipped on in the other room. We have her all over the house. She's very sensitive. And then our Amazon annual Prime fee came through, but I'll talk about that more at the end of the month. And in the Melina category, I'm going to call before and after care because that's $608. And I haven't paid it yet. I'm hoping, I'm putting it off as long as physically possible, but I am going to call. But if I have to pay it, I have to pay it because we've got to have childcare. So swim lessons are a touchy subject because if I drop swim lessons, she loses the place in her class. And it's only a four person class and she's in there with her best friend. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Um, she loves it, she really does. I don't know, I need to look at the other stuff that's canceled before I decide to keep that. And the Spanish classes are also another issue. I, I know I said that I was canceling the Spanish classes, but I realized that we're paying a teacher and she's depending now on that money every week. And I feel bad enough when I have to cancel because like Melina's sick or something like that, but that's $280. So I don't want her to miss Spanish. Spanish is super important. You'll notice that I struggle the most in this with canceling stuff that directly impacts Melina only because I don't want to impact her life. This is too complicated a situation to explain to a child. And the other stuff I'll talk about at the end of the month. In the cash category, Mauricio is still going to be getting his $25 for his haircuts because I can't have him walking around with long hair. 
it's not a good look for him. Trust me. In my YouTube category, I will cancel TubeBuddy and Morning Fame, but I will not cancel Backblaze because it backs up my computer. And so if my computer dies or one of my external hard drives dies that I can just go to their servers and pull it down. And I've used it I can't even tell you how many times when I've accidentally deleted something that I didn't intend to. So that $5 is a godsend and I will always use Backblaze. Our parking has already gone down to zero, so there's no more taking parking out. And that is also true with our online shopping and our cushion. The $175 for fantasy football that my husband has lost, we are going to pay it after this shutdown is over. So Mauricio is making a phone call to the guy to say, hey, listen, we are planning on paying this. It's just, you know, the shutdown. But like I've said before, everybody in his league is in the federal government. So hopefully all of them are saying this to the winner. And actually, I think the winner is a federal government employee, so he's probably depending on that money to pay his bills. At the end of the month, I'll also go over Mauricio's educational expenses. He was registered to start classes and I forgot about it and I totally forgot we had to pay tuition. So it's a whole thing. So I'll talk about that at the end of the month in the whole month recap. So in our debt category, I'm gonna make the phone calls to the debts and explain the situation. Most of the companies we work with are probably quite familiar with government employees having issues. Navy Federal, USAA, those are banks that are pretty commonly used by government employees. So I think they will be totally okay with it. And I just need to see what options, because if they want me to open up a zero interest loan, I'm probably going to pay the bill. Because again, we do have Mauricio's salary to operate on. It's just better for us if we don't pay as much as we normally do. And then in our giving category, we have cut out all giving, 100% giving, except for one giving sinking fund, which we will still be funding just simply because that money goes from our checking account into our sinking fund account. So we're not actually spending it, but we will not be spending any money on giving, just continuing the sinking fund. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.